right, so please turn to number two in your packets. Number two says, if line n passes through points negative one, negative one, and two, three, in the standard x, y coordinate plane, which of the following is true of the slope of line m? f, it must be positive, g, it may be negative, h, it must be negative, j, it must be undefined, or k, it must be zero. So there's a lot going on in this problem. I'm going to help you guys out. The most important thing is this word right here, slope. So this is a slope problem. Uh, we're going to need to find the slope using the information it gives us. And it gives us, right up here, two points on the coordinate plane that we're going to use uh, to solve for the slope. But first, really quick, conceptually, which of these lines has slope? Anybody? Uh, like the last two do. So if you like skateboarded, you skateboard down it, like a slope. Okay, so yeah, so if you were on a skateboard on this slope, you'd really be feeling it because you'd be cruising down. Um, mm -hmm. So in geometrical terms, actually all lines are going to have slope. It just be the case that you wouldn't really feel the slope on your skateboard when on this flat line. But they all do have slope. So I know we've talked about slope before, and um, we've used the words rise over run. So slope equals rise over run. Now what exactly is that? So start with rise. It's just simply vertical distance or height. So if I'm standing on the ground and I then step on this book, I'm going to be up a little bit higher, more vertical. So that's considered a, a rise. If I stand on this chair, I'm going to be even higher than I was in the book, and it'll be considered uh, a greater rise. Run, that just means horizontal distance. So if I start here and then I run over here to the other side of the board, I've created a distance between where I was and where I am now. And if I keep running and I move even further, then um, there's a longer run or a longer change in, uh, in my location from where I started to where I ended up. So how is that going to translate into the information we have right here? Well, let's think about the x, y coordinates. This is our y axis, this is our x axis. So x represents the horizontal distance um, on the coordinate plane, and y represents the vertical distance. Now, it gives us two points. So we know these two points are on the line. Um, so what we want to figure out is the change in the vertical distance, um, and, which is the rise, and the change in the horizontal distance, which is the run. So what would that look like in an equation form? Uh, well, the, aren't, aren't the y's the second coordinates, second numbers? Exactly. So yeah. So. In a coordinate, we've got, we've got x and y. y is always the second one in any order pair. Um, what, what I was looking for was, what again, what's going to be that rise? Is it going to be x or y? Uh, it's y, because that goes up. Right, because that's up and down. So it's going to be delta y. This triangle just means change in y over delta x, which is the horizontal or the run. So how are we going to find the difference? What we're going to do is we're going to take the um, y value of where we ended up, and I'm going to consider this first point where we started and this second point where we ended up. We're going to take the y value. Oh, generally, so yeah, we're going to take the second y value and subtract the first y value in order to find the difference. And we're going to do the same with the x values on the bottom. And so for this particular problem, we're just going to input the values that it gives us. We ended up at 3 y and started at negative 1. So we subtract a negative 1. Ended up at 2 for x. And we are, again, finding the difference. So we subtract and we started at negative 1. So that's going to equal, so 3 minus a negative 1. That's actually just going to be 3 plus a positive 1. And the same thing on the bottom, where it's just 2 plus a positive 1. And we're going to end up with 4 over 3, which um, is the exact slope. And then we look at the, the answers. F is the only one which asks for a positive slope. Our slope is positive. So we know right away it's going to be F. And that's the answer for the problem. Any questions? No. All right, great.